All right, when it comes to dating, our next guest is pretty basic. I feel boring. I'm, I'm, I'm cis, I'm straight, I'm not poly, I just cheat, you know? <laughs> I'm old fashioned. Was that a verbal woo for cheating? <laughs> Have I got the solo show for you? <laughs> That is a look at the new stage show, Cheat, from comedian and actress Chloe Radcliffe. And she's here on the couch to tell us about a whole lot more. What's going on, Chloe? Hi. So the show's called Cheat? Yeah, it is First -hand called Cheat. First-hand experience? There is no subtlety in the title. <laughs> yes, it is about infidelity. And, and I want to be clear, the show doesn't excuse... I, I have uh, committed infidelity, and the show does not excuse it. I think cheating is always bad. It always hurts somebody. I was wondering, have you been cheated on? Are these tales yes. of terrible men? And you said it's totally the opposite. Tales of a terrible woman. It's you. <laughs> yes. But the thing is that I think it's a thing that happens so much, and we, none of us want to talk about it. And I understand why. It's incredibly painful. Um, and, it's, and it's a very loaded topic, right? I mean, I'm, I, it feels scary to admit it here on TV. My aunt's going to find out. I'm so sorry, Aunt Sarah. <laughs> I, you know, I, I don't know, but uh, it, it, it's all around us. And the thing is that the show is not just about infidelity. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, it has that element in yeah. it. But really, fundamentally, the show is about relationships. And we all run into confusion relationships. We all have to figure out how to measure what is good enough, what is not good enough in a relationship. And that kind of, uh, you, you know, grappling with our own emotions, and then how they interact with somebody else. That's really the core of the show. Yeah. And You're so, joking about it. And, 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 and comedy, yes, right. yes, yes, and right. jokes. And I, I am really excited to be able to tell a difficult story about a difficult topic mm -hmm. that I care a lot about and think mm -hmm. needs to be talked about with jokes. I yeah. could only imagine you get lots of booze, but also lots of cheers. It's it's both. Well, you'll you'd actually be surprised. By the time people are walking out, I have so many people say. I also cheated. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, I ask people. I say, anybody clap? And very few people no. clap. <laughs> and I say, for those of you who don't clap, your secret is safe with me. Uh, but no, people walk out and say, oh my gosh, that's not what I thought the show was going to be mm. because it is, you know. The top line is infidelity, but there is so, so, so much more. It's about insecurity. It's about uh, feeling a scarcity mentality when it comes to dating. Yeah. And those, I think, are things that, regardless of your experience with infidelity, all of those elements we can all lock in with. Yeah. Are you zeroing in? Are you do audience particip particip participation? Excuse me. In one moment, only in one and section. That that's the one where you ask. Yeah, I say, has anybody cheated? Okay, that's the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, are you, when people are coming to the show, you're saying that they are saying it's not the show that they thought. Of. What do they think they're coming to? I think they think that they're coming to. Um, either like a pure confessional of here's all the bad stuff that I've okay, done. Okay, gotcha. Or I think they're. Th I think. I think nobody can imagine that somebody could possibly handle this real third rail issue mm -hmm. in a way that people can walk out and feel like, okay, there's nuance there, yeah. I can understand it, right? I, th I think it's um, a little hard to believe that it could be three-dimensional, and I fully understand that, mm -hmm. but look, th I think this is, I am hard-pressed to think of a topic that is so common and so broad that so few people want to talk well, about it. <laughs> Has any of the people that you've cheated on, any of your exes, I assume they're now exes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Have they come and seen your show? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you call yourself a serial monogamist, right? Because I, I have been in relationship after relationship after mm -hmm. relationship. Yeah. And then you cheat in every single one? Well, uh, <laughs> okay, wow. Well. Not every single one. <laughs> okay. And if you are my ex in the audience, uh, the one that I didn't was you. Okay, there oh, you wow. go. Okay. Let's talk about what else you've done, because you've been very busy. you got uh, quite the resume. You uh, wrote for the miniseries Command Z. Yes, wrote and then starred. And starred in, in it yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. We have a clipper here to, to play. This is historic, literally. We'll be dipping into the past to make some critical fixes there that will in turn make the future, our present right now, more livable, fair, and decent for everyone. Whoa. We're going back to the moment that I've determined was America's last inflection point, to 2023. Okay, so what's going on here, Command Z? Uh, Command Z is a miniseries directed by Steven Soderbergh about uh, it, we're in the future, and uh, imagine this, the future is even worse than we think it might be right now. <laughs> and uh, so it's a team, it's uh, me and Roy Wood Jr. and J.J. Maley and Michael Sarah, and we put together a team and uh, go back in time to try, to our present right now, mm -hmm. to try and make changes here so that we can impact the future so it doesn't uh, crumble quite so badly. Right. Very cool. Congratulations on Thank that you. success. Thank and you, you were also a writer for Jimmy Fallon, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did you learn there, and how was that atmosphere? Oh, my gosh. It is... 
it is a mile a minute, maybe like 30 miles a minute. Yeah. It is so fast paced. Um, it is sink or swim. And it's like you get thrown in the deep end and you learn immediately. Jimmy is so incredibly funny. He's so sharp. Mm -hmm. And the I think the whole experience, uh, I walked away knowing myself better as a writer, knowing mm -hmm. myself better as a comedian, uh, and, and knowing the entertainment industry better. Yeah. Favorite skit, minus tight pants. Uh, you're, yeah, I look. I uh, there is one about uh, candles that okay. was right before I got hired, and yeah. I I really really love it. Tight pants is such a good one. It's such a good song too. Yeah. You ever see it? I don't think so. I'm the only guy in town wearing tight pants. I've it's seen got... it. I just wanted you to oh. sing it. <laughs> yes. Uh, good stuff, Chloe. Great stuff. And how long is the show going on for? The show is uh, the next three Thursdays starting tomorrow, um, July 11th, 18th, and 25th, all at the new Upright Citizens Brigade. Oh, we have yeah. that space. At 2nd and 14th. It's incredible. Um, it's awesome. It's like a sub-sub basement. It yeah, really yeah, does. Yeah. You know, like, if you're claustrophobic. <laughs> but that's uh, good. It's intimate. It's awesome. No, it's, it's such a <laughs> cool, cool, cool space. Um, yes, and, and I think that it is a way to have everybody really open up for a, a difficult conversation with jokes. Yes. Uh, I'm not the good guy in the show. I'll never purport to be. Right. But uh, I think, you know, if you love comedy and you have any opinions at all about relationships, come, all right. come see it. Yeah, cool. July 11th, 18th, 25th, all at 7 p.m. Yep. The Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. Great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having Thank me. You.